Elderly Crime Rate Rising in Japan by Learn With News, Level 3. The number of elderly people committing crimes in Japan has been going up every year. 20 years ago, 1 in 20 crimes committed in Japan were committed by elderly people. Last year, the number increased to 1 in 5. It is an increasing phenomenon which has raised questions about the standard of living for retired people in Japan. Some elderly criminals have claimed that they commit crimes so they can live for free in jail. The basic state pension in Japan is very low and as such, pensioners who rely on it find it very difficult to afford basic necessities. One pensioner, Toshio Takata, stole a bike and rode it to the police station when he ran out of money after reaching pension age. Toshio says there is a positive monetary benefit to being in prison. When I get out, I have saved some money, so it is not that painful. This is because, while he is in prison, he still receives his state pension, but his outgoings are zero as the prison provides all of his care for free. Toshio went to prison for one year for stealing the bike, even though it was his first ever criminal offence. This situation has caused controversy over criminal sentencing in Japan. Theft is taken incredibly seriously and is often punished by sending the culprit to prison for stealing even the smallest items. Shoplifting is the biggest crime committed by old people in Japan, and it is mostly food items worth less than $30 which are stolen. A 2016 report said that a person in Japan could go to prison for two years for stealing a $2 sandwich. It would then cost the Japanese government $84,000 to keep the person in prison for those years. Traditionally in Japan, children would support and look after their parents once the parents retired. This normally coincided with the children being at a stable position in their career. Therefore, the children could afford to care for their parents. However, the Japanese economy has been continuously weakening year after year, and the younger generations are often not in a position to care for their parents. Many children have had to move far away from their homes in order to find work and are unable to provide care for their parents. There have been discussions regarding what should be done to quell this epidemic, but there have been no concrete steps to actually combat it thus far.